All right. Thank you all for being here. Let's get this started, shall we? Now, according to the Illinois Department of Transportation, accessed on May 6, 2019, in the year 2018 alone, 1,089 people died in car collisions. In this day and age, about everybody is required to own a car, right? Right? Now, as experts, experienced drivers, are going to tell you how it's done. We're going to turn you punks into some road abiding citizens. We'll talk about why to take this course, some laws, horror stories, and myths. Now, now that I got your attention, let's have Penny talk about some driving school. Thanks, Officer Ethan. <laughs> Today I will be discussing the most common questions people have about traffic school. Um, access on May 7, 2019, located on drivesafely.net. I Drive Safely is stated arguably the fastest online traffic school course. Um, benefits of taking this course is your auto insurance rates can be reduced. It's only specific companies, so you would have to ask your insurance company. Um, authorization to take this course is through uh, judges or court case base. Um, you can or possibly get your ticket, your traffic ticket reduced if that's the reason you're taking the course, but you have to get permission from a court, your local court. Um, you will receive a certificate of completion through this course, and that's what you would be handing to your auto insurance company um, to re possibly reduce your rates. Um, taking this course online, um, if you take the iDrive Safely course, you can take, it's not time, so you can take as much time as you need, up to one day or a couple of days. And the topics discussed include highway rules, laws, emergencies, cart maintenance, and more. There is a final exam, and you have to score an 80% or above, but the online course allows you to retake it. So that would be different than taking it in class. Um, I Drive Safely is a California-developed online program, therefore it's not approved by Illinois, but if you get permission or ask your local court, there is a chance that you can take it. And um, the costs range from $20 to $40, um, based on whatever state you're in. Thank you for those interessante FAQs. Now we'll have Jerry talk about the law. Right, I will be talking about the most common broken laws as well as new laws that will be implemented in 2019. So according to the article, the 10 most commonly broken driving laws found on axeladdict.com and written by Leela Cargill, a writer for Sam Houston University, published on January 25th, 2019 and accessed on May 7th, 2019. The article states that the 10 most commonly broken laws are driving for conditions, right of wares, no driver's licenses or insurance, um, local laws and curfews, vehicle accidents, driving under the influence of uh, drugs or alcohol, illegal maneuvers in a motor vehicle, mechanical problems with your car, so like knowing that your car is not functioning properly but you're ignoring it, um, driving distracted, that means cell phones, eating, drinking, or having your music too loudly as well as not having seat belts, child restraints, or having loose objects in the car, such as pets. One of the biggest enforcements of the New Year's is stricter surveillance and repercussions on people who use their cell phones while driving. According to the article, a new Illinois traffic laws to take effect in 2019, found on selvelaw.com, written by Marcy Mangan, Director of Public Relations for Selby Shawstock and Pritchard PC trial lawyers, published on December 11, 2018, and accessed on May 6, 2019. It is stated that, beginning July 1, 2019, drivers caught texting behind the wheel will be issued a moving violation that will go on their driving record. Anyone convicted of three moving violations in a 12-month period may have their license suspended. Uh, this really puts a toll and acts as a warning sign for people who partake in cell phone usage while driving. Well, thank you for that rundown. Now, we're going to have Saudi here talk about some horror stories. According to the Illinois Distracted Driving Awareness Week website accessed on May 7, 2019, 10 drivers are killed in distracted driving crashes every day, and 35% of people report that they regularly text while driving. An example of a distracted driving accident is the story of Adam Miller, who was a resident of Bolingbrook, Illinois. On November 15, 2008, he was in the car with his dad. Due to a flat tire, the car was parked on the side of Plainfield Naperville Road when another car going 55 miles per hour hit their car from behind. 
Adam lost his life that day. He was only five years old. Later it was found that the driver who hit them claimed that he didn't see the car because he was bending down to pick up a cigar that had fallen under the passenger seat. I have another example of distracted driving. scenario, the driver was 25-year-old Bryce A. McVeigh Peters, who was using Snapchat while driving, and he was also driving under the influence. These examples show that distracted driving is harmful not only for others on the road, but for the drivers themselves as well. Well, thank you very much for those emotional stories. Now, we're going to have Liz talk to you about some myths you thought were true, but actually aren't. A lot of you may have heard, if I speed, then I'll get there fast. However, that is not the case. According to the speed, does speeding really get you there any faster by Eric Robbins Crowd Test just on May 4th, 2019? The speed limit is 35 miles per hour and you're going 45 miles per hour. You're traveling nearly 30% faster than the speed limit. If the speed limit is 65 miles per hour and you're going 75 miles per hour, that's only about a 15% increase. This is because the higher the speed limit is already, the less time you save by exceeding it. I have here a suspended license. This happens when you speed. This man was going 120 in a 65 mile um, per hour road, in a 65 mile per hour road, and so he has to Uber for the next six months. Another myth is that driving slower is safer, but according to driving, is driving faster safer access on May 3rd, 2019. The main problem on road that causes accidents is the difference in the speed rather than the speed itself. While some people are going faster than others, some go slower, than, some go slower, which causes the traffic to flow uneasily. It's actually a lot safer for everyone to be speeding all together rather than have everyone going at a different speed. Wow, that's very surprising. Thank you for sharing. Now let's wrap this up, shall we? So today we talked about the rules of the road, some traffic school FAQs, horror stories, and some myths. Now, I'd like to leave you all here today with my own saying. You don't rule the road, the road rules you. Have a good one.